Hello everyone, my name is Jacobin and welcome back to another Redstone video and in this video I'll be showing you guys a color combination lock which is actually just a prototype because normally how a color combination lock works is you can change one color and then you can change the other color and then you have to get the right combination of colors to open say this door here <laughs> but with this thing it, it just it shifts both colors at once because I'm still in the process of making an actual working combination or color combination box that actually works side by side. I think I have an idea in mind that'll probably be my next video or the video after that or something. But for now, this is what I have. Now, let's see if this is on the right color. I think it's the color after this one. Yellow and black. Yes, and then the door opens here and we have our chests and our ender chest and our furnaces, which is all great. But then if it's on the wrong color... Well, then the door closes. And this one is actually, it's really not safe at all because there are only like, well, there's only like eight combinations that you can actually put in and you just gotta keep clicking the button until the door opens. So it really just doesn't work. That's, it's, it's, yeah, it's just really not a safe combination lock and I, I, I don't recommend this, but let me explain what's going on. So when I click this button, these pistons here retract the colors that you can see there. And then the piston feed tapes shifts around once, or the, the piston feed tape shifts around once and then when it does this piston feed tape down here shifts around once and then after that these pistons push the colors back out and give you a new set of colors but then when this thing shifts around this cauldron shifts around and then eventually it'll come back up to where this piece of glass is and then this comparator here will detect that the cauldron is full and it will then open this uh, door here and reveal everything inside so i thought this was a cool little concept that i can definitely continue working on and i will definitely make this better in hopefully my next video because this is really great and i really really want to have the two colors next to each other and then i'll just have like another button right here and then we can like shift the different colors um and then get different color combinations and then we can actually have a working color combination lock and it will be great so that was actually it for this video so if you enjoyed it leave a like down below and if you really enjoyed it then consider subscribing because that would help out a lot but yeah i'll see you next time